Howdy folks, I'm going home but uh, I had a very interesting day and I'm recording another intro uh, that I'll play before the intro that I you know made for the video because this this day did not go as I expected and it was kind of unique day for me I didn't catch a ton of fish but the way I caught the fish was absolutely unique in Illinois all these years I don't remember ever catching fish after fish crappy after crappy without a brush never you know in in the winter you catch them in deep brush 25 feet deep in the spring you catch them in shallow brush five feet but always in brush but today folks I kid you not I mean I found this one muddy flat you know, it's just a shallow flat but all the other banks around are kind of just white rock and pretty deep and this is just five six seven feet the whole thing there is not one brush here folks if you know this place or if you find this this flat you will see there is not one brush here and it was still full of fish so I just anchored here I dropped my talon and I cast it left, I catch a few fish, then I cast right, I catch a few fish, and then I cast left again and I catch a few fish again. So two, a little over two hours I've been catching fish after fish here and I have to go now, but there is still plenty of sprinkled single fish around the flat. And there is plenty of schools of something very small. I don't know if it's minnows or something. But yeah, for first time ever, I'm catching crappy just on a flat, just completely empty without any brush at all. So um, yeah, this is what you're going to see in this video. Good morning, folks. Windy as always. I'm using a shady ramp here. I know it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know, it looked shady to me. Well, I have a very old Subaru now that has nothing in it, but if I had a new truck, I don't know if I would leave my truck here. Don't know these ramps yet. But anyway, this whole bay here, I came to a new ramp today because I am sick and tired of 100 foot deep channels. So I looked and looked on the maps and I found, I mean, I'm all the way up river here. Uh, this is uh, JPP. Uh, I, I just want to fish some shallow water, folks. I'm hit, I'm sick and tired of fishing 60, 80, 100 feet of water. You know, um, in my last trip where I caught the 15 inch crappie, well, 14.9, but I was coming down the road and I looked at the ramp and the marina had all of these docks, dock slips there and I was just licking my chops man like oh man this this slip's gonna be full of crappie uh, and I dropped my bolt and I turned on the well the live scope didn't even work then but I turned on the the other electronics the side imaging and I'm just looking pop 60 feet of water the, the very first slips there in 60 feet of water man what kind of, and there, there was no, there was no bluegill even. All of these boat slips with nothing, uh, just because it was ridiculously deep. And most of the docks that I saw that day were in minimum 40 feet of water. So to me, that's dead water. Deep water is dead water for me, for me. Nothing around the PVC. See, I'm eliminating them fast. Now I'm gonna try that stick over there. I don't see nothing here. Right next to the fish attractant. I think the top of the stake bed is only two feet under water. And I got it snagged already. 
was a mistake to cast there. Fish. Did I finally catch a freaking fish? Oh that I did. And it's a crappie. In the middle of nowhere, without a brush. Get a goddamn crappie. That's a white crappie or what kind of crappie this is? <laughs> Weird looking fish. Fish? No way. Boogie over but still. No, crap. No way. Little crappy, but ask me if I care. Huh. Yeah, come on, ask me if I care. See, this is a... I don't know, is this a white or black crappy? I don't know what it is. That's actually the... Got you! That's actually on the... Shallow. It's not in the channel. It feels like another crappie. Let's see if I finally have one worth netting. Yep, another crappie. That's fun to catch them without brush. Yep, that's another crappie. One is almost a keeper. Fish in the shallow man. I think another crappy. Yep. The crappie. Nothing big here on this lake. I've caught so many crappie. Nothing big. All of the big crappie I catch on the other lakes. I catch one, two, I mean literally all day for one crappie. But it's some kind of personal best Another one, man. I think we're gonna have a good time here. Another crappy. Homegrown. Huh? Right here. I don't know, it's a bull. It's not a bull, yo. <laughs> Yellow bass is fun. If I could find a good, ow, thick school of yellow bass, I'll take those.
This one chased it all the way to the trolling motor and did not give up. That I call good determination. See if we can get on some more then. Some more of these. Yeah, that's something. I think that's crappy, that's slow. Yeah, that's probably crappy. Oh, you know what? Let me drop the talon. Some fish here. Oh, now he caught. Okay. I'm gonna flip this fish. Man, this fish is not even bad, folks. This fish is not even bad. What are you talking about? It's not a bad crappy. Huh? Okay, it's nothing special, but... Oh, definitely my biggest today. Let's see what happened here. I told you, this flat, there is no brush. There is no brush whatsoever. It's just a flat. Now I would prefer to twitch a trout magnet, but when the fish is scattered like this, trout magnet doesn't work. No, no. No wind, please. I hate this wind. Just found some fish. Let me enjoy. Let me enjoy fishing. Fish. Wow, I wasn't even reeling. The boat was spinning. It's one of them yellow or white bass. Or orange bluegill. Wow. They will eat a... They will eat a... Two-inch bait too, huh? There we go. That's something. That is something. <laughs> I don't think in my whole life I have ever fished for crappy without any cover whatsoever. I mean zero cover to here folks. Zero cover. Let's cast somewhere else, folks. Sometimes you cast the same place. They see it too many times. And they don't want to do business with you anymore. That's a bite. There we go, I told you. Just change the direction a little bit. Man, shallow flats without any brush. Who knew? Who knew? I always, in my... I really catch and always in my lakes in Chicago catch the crappie around some brush. In the winter around deep brush. In the spring around shallow brush. But around brush. But like this, just scattered in completely open. With the float they're not gonna be able to mess with me like that. I'm gonna tear them up with the float. Let's try the float, huh? I'm gonna get the big float that's kinda heavier. It's a 1.1 gram. Look what they did to the sky tech. It's destroyed. Of course now the wind is blowing like crazy, so I won't even be able to cast the float. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything other than a little bluegill on the float. That's not little bluegill. That 
That's a crapperoo. That's a liftable crappie. That's a liftable crappie, folks. Watch out. On a float. Okay. Float fishing in the open. In the open. Okay. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Turning out to be a decent day after all. That, that is a nice fish. Steady and slow. Okay, it's not that nice. Maybe the first one was not that nice too. Because in the first second I thought this one was very nice. Alright. Alright. There we go. Yeah, no chop at all is no good either. Because you can kind of play it with the rod, but it's not exactly... I don't know. Small chop from waves is really good for float fishing. Little BG. Man, it's turning out to be a great day after all. Also, I'm gonna say, I've been fishing here with the Daiwa Theory and my, my, my other presso rod is with the Daiwa Presso Reel. And the Daiwa Theory Reel, for me, the drag sound is definitely more enjoyable. I mean, it's like a guitar. That's not baby boogie. Yeah, I just moved 10, 15 feet. Good crappy folks. Good crappy folks, but not like a normal geo teams. Good, good. 11 for Percy Priest. 11 inches good. Should have gotten a few for my neighbor. Hey. I was gonna let him go anyway, but didn't wanna make that much noise. Let's see if we can catch a few more. was a good battle. One more. Found the crappy folks. Man, I love the way they fight. They fight good folks. Good crappy again. And when they come to you with the mouth fully open, flared Trying to inject, eject the war. <sighs> so back to back. Nice crappy folks. This one will go 11 because it's white. Doesn't look fat, but will go 11. Oh, that's a crap. Ooh, man, they feel good. Oof. I don't want to force it. Man, they feel good. Is this a crappy fighting? Very strong. Yeah, it is a crappy. Liftable crappy. Oh, black crappy. Alright. That's a 10 incher. But the last three or four crappy are all keepers. Look at that. My shadow is hiding it. Alright folks, the video is already too long so I'm gonna show you one more fish and let you go. But I guess the lesson of today is don't just run with the gas engine from one brush to the next brush. 
because some of these flats are really worth scanning especially if the bank is deep and rocky on both sides and you have only one short stretch where it's kind of shallow and muddy i definitely recommend checking that eventually you come close enough to the boat oh, i was gonna say and you get a little boogie but it's not a little boogie Normal size crappy man. Normal size crappy. Definitely not the smallest I got today. Hmm. These JPP crappy, huh? These JPP crappy is smaller, folks. Maybe not even ten. <laughs> 